to have a computer generated ally. It's gonna know how to generate it's gonna know how to manipulate the triggers. I might show you how to do that, I might not. I'll probably sh I'll show you how to do that in case anyone's interested. Human will basically mean that this player is under a human control. Rescue ball is an interesting thing. You can see you see, this indicates right here that there is a uh, that means that w the moment one of your players goes nearby that unit, that unit switches to your control. You've seen it, one, you've probably seen it plenty of times in the missions. You can see it in the first mission, it's the like original Starcraft when you first meet the unit. You guys know what I'm saying. Howdy boys, and Jim Ray marshal these parts. Hmm. First mission, that's what rescue means. I'll show you how to use it correctly. To show you how to use it correctly, we'll have a third player in this thing, and we'll have him rescuable. Because not only am I going to show you that, I'll also show you how to make triggers with heroes and stuff. All right. Now this thing right here is the is the is the unit section. This section allows you to uh, default units and constructible and constructible items. For example. You can um, basically enable these units. Now, for example, we're going to go on player th three. Let's show you. What, let's show you how. Now you can just check. Now you can check a unit thing. For example, we're going to go to Zerg units. Hit ground units. All right. Now what happens? Now what happens is if you click this, if you turn this off, that means that all players in the game. Cannot use Zerg wings. So if you wanted to create a map that only lets you start off with the basic units, you could just click that. You would just click. You could just you just click these off. Okay. So so right now, it's set that these four units are not enabled. That means that the Zerg cannot construct Australisks, drones, defilers, or infested terrans. Think about when you're doing that. When you're making a map, think about what you want. Think about what units you want to enable and stuff. Now, uh, this section right here, this is the defaults for that player. That means you can hit. Now you can use what. Now what you can do then is you can enable if the if this player doesn't get to use the units. For example. All right, we fixed that. We're using these defaults for player two. We're on a Zerg Zerg lane right now. We're on a Zerg Zerg lane right now, and we click it off. Okay, now the enemy Zerg building that we just base that we just put up cannot construct Zerg lanes. For some people, that's actually a relief. You can turn it off and on, and you can do that for all units. If anything is set to default, remember though that if it's that if enabled by default is off for that unit. Then that doesn't matter. Then in order for that one player to use that unit, he'll have to have use default. He'll have to have use defaults off. Because because that means that they're only applying that section of the unit. That they're only applying the top the default settings and not their own settings. You can also do that for all air units and buildings. Terrans get the additional option of add-ons. Now upgrades is what you can... Here's upgrades. This is the stuff... It's, all, it's very similar to the thing. You can set the default. What you can do here is you can set the default for upgrades and stuff. A little bit minimal. Same thing for this. This is make a little difference, so I'll just go into it vaguely. What you can do here... What you can do here is uh, the bottom number shows you uh, the maximum amount of upgrade you can have. If it's set to zero, you cannot get that upgrade. So on Terran Infantry Weapons, we're going to set the number to two. That means that you can only upgrade the Terran Infantry Weapons two times. Okay? We'll change the number again. We set to zero. That means now you can't even upgrade. Think about that when you're making your maps. Now weapons, like, you know, upgrades like U-238 shells, which is the upgrade 
that increases your range, which will be the upgrade that increases your, that increases, um, you know, the Marine's range. Again, if this number is set to zero, that means you cannot research it. If this number is set to one, that means you can research it. Think of it like some, like, think of it sort of like programming logic. Sometimes you sign ones to, uh, confirm to say true or false. Now, the default level indicates what it starts at. We're going to start, we're going to we bump the number up to three, for example. Okay, that means that all vehicle plating upgrades start automatically at full research. We know it's number two, okay? That means that we already have two research for vehicle plating. We start at zero. We don't have any research at all. And remember, and remember, you can also use the piece, you can also turn defaults for that thing off and on. So you can, so you can make different players or different armies for, have different upgrades right away, or not, or not be able to research those upgrades right at all. Either way, it all depends on what you want. Ah, damn it! Cuss you bitches! Special abilities are the same thing. It's the same thing as the other two. I'm just not too much detail that you need to go into. I'll just teach you what each three of the three options do. Disabled by default means that this ability cannot be researched. Abilities, abilities and upgrades are different. Upgrades are stuff that in, like um, Titan Reactor, which increases a uh, unit, which I, if I remember correctly, I believe uh, increases the. Uh, Rafe, Rafe, uh, energy by 50%, I don't, by 50, I don't remember what these reactors are, and Ocular Implants, which increases the Ghost Sight range, Caron Booster, which increases the Goliath's Air Attack range, those are upgrades, of those are stuff like Stimpaks, Lockdown, and Spider Mines, Disabled by default means you cannot research the ability, Enabled by default means you can research that ability, but you do not have it. And research by default means you have that research. And that's how to use the player studies. You can use that to manipulate the game a little bit and make the maps how you a little bit different. You can look for that in the player tab. The scenario tab has the same things as has similar things. For forces, we'll assign the force now to show you how to work work it. Player one will be. Dominion Strikes Force. Since we're red. Be player Force 2 will be the Zerg Hive. Force 3 will be Rescuable. Will be Survivors. And Force 4 will, ha will be Nobody. So it's the enemy Zerg. So if we're going up against a Zerg player, we're going to assign the Zerg from here. And since the survivors will be Teal, we'll survive over here just to show that they're... Just to show that they are, uh... Not among us. Because so we have no allies, just set that off. And hit that off. That will guarantee that your thing will always be red. Same thing for this. And same thing for that. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I just thought somebody came into the house. Somebody actually did come into the house, so if you hear any background noise, that's just a bunch of people. It's just a bunch of 15, 14 year olds. Damn brother and his fucking friends. Um, now, for play, now for our purposes, we're going to do the, we need to assign some stuff. Since Force 1 is human, we have to stay human, but since we're going up against a Zerg computer player, we have to change it to computer. Um, everything else you want to switch to neutral. This tells the computer to not register these guys unless they appear in the field. Hit OK. Okay. 